over the last 10 or 20 years, gaming has just become significantly bigger and has a much bigger audience than it did even five years ago. On your average day, we have somewhere in the region of a million people worldwide playing Sega titles. We currently collect over 25,000 events every second uh, through our data pipeline. Um, we collect data for over 70 Sega titles and we have somewhere in the region of 700 billion events. We need to make sure that all that data is uh, combined and that we can easily use it all in, a, in, its, in its stored state. In our previous platform, we would literally had to every so often scale up our data warehouse to support more storage, to use more compute, and each time it was it was a fairly painful process because you don't want to scale up unless you have to. Cloud-based data warehouse platforms make that a lot easier. You're still very uh, aware of your resources. The lake house architecture suits that perfectly. We have a large amount of data which we can store in a relatively low cost way using a data lake and where with a more traditional data warehouse we'd have to store that in some very expensive you know, uh, uh, database storage. So Sega collects lots of different data from lots of different sources. It ranges from really structured financial data. We also collect a lot of game analytics data through our data pipeline, which gets ingested into Databricks Lakehouse. On top of that, though, we have a lot of other kind of unstructured forms of data that we also have to analyze. And all of that data also has to sit and be ingested into our Lakehouse and made available to end users. Not only does it allow for data scientists and data engineers to get the real low granular data for building real-time streaming use cases or ML use cases and ML models, but then we can also further upstream our gold layer. It is at the gold layer where business analysts are able to connect to an aggregated view of the data downstream and they can just connect to it with the kind of visualization tools that they're used to, including Power BI and Tableau and uh, Excel. Using the Databricks Lakehouse platform really allows us to, to democratise data around the business. So we now have a really just a, almost like a single data team within the business where it used to be quite, you know, quite fractured. Um, and we're you know, sharing and collaborating various notebooks and things that we've solved you know, across, across the business rather than all working within our individual silos. The Databricks Lakehouse platform is the right architecture for Sega as it allows us to get quicker insights into our data. Having better and faster insights into our, into our data allows us to better improve our products. This allows our customers to enjoy our games more and ultimately play the game for longer.